Welcome back, everybody. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yeah, Joe here. Kevin. Uh, we're halfway through the week. Uh, love Wednesdays. We've got a lot of great shows here. Good Place, Mad Men, and then we're going to finish up with some Americans later on today. Um, but no, The Good Place is really in a... <sighs> this season's very different. I mean, it's just... I mean, the last two episodes have been basically bottle episodes, you know? Yeah, they, they've been hitting their philosophical stride really well this and I'm season. I, I'm, yeah, I, no, I'm into it. You know? I, I, I like this season more than I like the first season. I'm, I'm because with I, you. I, I, th I think they're you know, like the, the, the mystery and the cliffhangers aren't quite there anymore. Yeah. But they are exploring the ideas of the show much more, uh, the show, sure, of the show much more in depth, getting deeper. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, the, 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 the philosophical ideas, the what it means to be human. Um, the the, the conundrums of, of how, right the, the difficulty of, of going through life as a person that you know we just, you know, the last episode we really focused on the last couple episodes Michael's struggle with mm -hmm. understanding that and coming to terms with that and now Janet's struggle uh, with the same thing um, which are like really heady ideas for a, a, a comedy series for like sure this. like this season's definitely way more philosophical uh, yeah. the first season was more about the world building and right. it had some of that uh, the tinge of that philosophical element as well. But it was more about the world building. It was more adventurous. Definitely more of a straight-up comedy. This season, while still being those things, is definitely more about picking that apart. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thinking about it and chewing on it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's deconstructing the, yeah. The, what they kind of set up in the first season, which is really, really brilliant. And I, I would have thought almost impossible to pull off in a comedy series before we watched this. No, truly, yeah. It, it's honestly just a delight to watch each week. So yeah. I'm, I'm really, really into it. Yeah, and of course, when you have performers like these you know last ted Danson just continued right, to amaze yeah last episode we really highlighted ted danson and darcy carden mm -hmm. who are freaking phenomenal on this show yeah um, absolute perfect casting there um and and of course you know the main the, the four main characters uh were are all really really solid as well oh just shout out to the last episode though because it basically it was an episode about a demon and his alexa being friends <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah brought a tear to my eye honestly. it was it was it was actually really touching um my, michael's confession that, J that janet's his oldest and dearest friend mm -hmm. and so he didn't want to kill her was you know the 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 um burgeoning humanity from michael and apparently what we're going to see coming from janet it is it, it, really kind of been a joy to watch and i look forward to more of it me too and we should get rolling here yes we should if you guys are watching this on youtube for the first time welcome to our channel hello if you mind the like button for us leave us a comment down below and please 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 hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date all the new content we have coming your way if you'd like to see a full reaction to this and everything else we've watched or are watching please check out the link in the description below to our patreon page on all shows we are watching, including the good place we're at least four episodes ahead on patreon of where we're on youtube so if you see this episode on YouTube and want to keep going, that's the place to do it. You will have to sync and watch along on your own streaming service. You will only see and hear us for copyright purposes. We're also watching 30 Rock right now as a Patreon exclusive. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and the other, as you can see from the title of the episode, the other uh, big, Eric, big revelation yeah. is Jason. Um, oh, uh, I always I always forget how to say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it, it, I, I pronounced it last week and I totally forgot how to, how to say it. Yeah. Uh, but always a delightful uh, appearance. Dennis Feinstein is a character actor. <laughs> right. Eleanor told me to find a rebound guy. I couldn't find one, so I made one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be jealous. <laughs> I love you now, oh. and we are going to spend every second together. Oh. No, no. If anybody finds Let's out about him, we I know are funny, doomed. Is. He has to stay in your void. We are so in sync. We're finishing each other. Derek. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so Janet can create life. That's yeah. Great. Man, Michael sure just finds the people he likes working with and just brings them back. Good for him. Yeah. And for them. Makes it easy to yeah. work. Easier to work, I guess, because if you like them and you get along well with them, you yeah. might as well. I've arranged for you to have a weekend getaway. I told Vicky that I'll be torturing you for the time being, so just relax. Live it up. Out you go here. I was wondering what he's doing. Yeah. Okay, keep it away from Janet. Yeah. This one. Yeah. What are you watching? Um, Cannibal Run 2. Again? Very weird energy coming off of you right now. Yeah, hey guys, for what sure. What you doing? Nothing great. How do ethical philosophers feel about murder? It's frowned upon. Hi there. Hey there. Who the fork is that? Derek Hofstetler, P.I. Derek is my new bad guy. <laughs> I made him. I like the energy he's coming at this Me role too. with. Yeah. Nice guy. <laughs> we gotta kill Derek. Now think about it. What if Vicky calls for Janet? And Derek shows up too. We get rid of Derek, then maybe Janet will start glitching That's a great again. Point. Yeah. Okay, if we can't kill Derek, then we got to break up Jason and Tahani. 
I feel like that's the inevitable what's going to happen. It's not yeah. well. It's obvious, though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The show tends to stay away from that. Well, look, Jason yeah. and Tahani are happy together, and telling them that he was once married to Janet might cause them harm. It's okay to keep a secret as long as that secret isn't harming anyone, and telling them that secret might cause harm. Oh, so she gets to hide the tape then, yeah. I like the, the close-up on the cannibal yeah. run to VHS. I know it's tempting to take a shortcut, but moral strength is defined by how we behave in times of stress. I never even had a friend I could just be myself around. Maybe I could be that friend. Or your husband. He always wants to get married, doesn't he? Yeah. He's going to have two ex-wives in the good place. I mean, really, yeah. <laughs> As long as very, they fly uh, under Florida the radar and Janet yeah, right, stays really, yeah. happy, I think we'll be safe. It is my boy. Wow. I know it's a boundless, barren nothingness, but you are always there. Fine. I'll go somewhere else. Fine! We're forked here, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. I'll marry you. But I need some time to plan a proper reception. I mean, let's just have it today at the beach. The beach is where all the best stuff happens, like uh, swimsuit issues and saving Private Ryan. I hope Janet's back online. Janet. Oh no, this Hi is going to go badly. Oh no. I think, all right, Janet? Yeah, mm -hmm. everything's fine. It's okay. Yeah. This is <laughs> Derek's house, and Janet's not allowed in because I booby trapped okay. it. Okay. Okay. Jason Mendoza and Tahani Altamil are. Here comes an earthquake. Yeah. Here this evening. Chidi, I understand the ethics involved, but we need to stop that wedding. Your only goal has to be to spare Jason and Tahani from future pain by filling them in. Nah, on he's Jason's right. Past. He is yeah. Yeah. right. Oh my God. You basically. Like a husband. She is freaking gorgeous. Oh, no. Jason, I never guessed we'd be where we are today. Don't make any <laughs> sense together. And yet, when I'm with you, I can really let my hair down. Oh, God. Oh, my God. She reminds me a lot of Schmidt. Yeah, she really does. Yeah. That's true. It's a great comparison. Yeah. Now, if you put the two of them together, yeah. Schmidt. Stop the ceremony. This wedding cannot happened <laughs> before all the reboots jason was married to janet okay yeah that's why janet's been glitching because she's sad because she misses jason janet made derek as a boyfriend to try and rebound from jason he's being honest yeah all of this is honest well, yeah, they, 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 it's a long way yeah janet or derek i Not love the one is as yeah. your primary intention i don't understand yeah. what you even <laughs> like about jason what does he have that i don't have a soul and genitals? Uh. And I suggested, hey, find a rebound guy. It's because I thought it was some sort of schoolgirl crush. Okay? Jason was yeah. clearly important to you, and real heartbreak doesn't have a simple cure. To get through a real heartbreak, you kind of just have to sit with your feelings and mull it over and power through. I never should have made you. <laughs> I think it's time for you to go away. I understand. What are you doing? I imbued Derek with some of my thoughts and emotions. This is the only way I could reabsorb them. It'll just be a minute. Oh my God. The witch chimes bit was Goodbye, pretty solid Derek. there. That really got Goodbye, me. Mommy yeah. girlfriend. Bye, everybody. <laughs> mommy Derek's girlfriend. Going now. Are you worried you might start glitching again? No. I think I'll be okay now that I understand what I'm going through. And now that I know I can talk to my friends about it. What a sad ending for Derek. I know. Well, power saver mode. He's not yeah. <laughs> what happens now? Don't know. Do you want to try... Reabsorbing me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Jason. <laughs> For him, that's pretty smooth. Yeah. I've been keeping a secret from you about you. Yeah, just tell what me. What is it? Yeah. Uh, this is freaking me out. I'm losing my mind. So just tell me. I've never been that certain about anything. I once even tried to rent socks. How did I say that? Do you have any feelings like that for me again now? I'm I'm sorry, but I I don't think I do. I don't. Either. Yeah, but you're so, right, right. all good. I mean, I I, I feel incredibly close. <laughs> no, to no, 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 no. This isn't over. Yeah, it's just beginning. Yeah. It's hard, and I kind of hate it. When's it get easier? Why don't you ask Cheedy? He's the ethics master. Face it's with the, the toughest challenges yeah. I could throw at you. You never once stop trying to become a better person. It's never too late to change. Maybe. She wants to. I yeah. mean, she legitimately wants to. It does get rid of the little voice. 
Because at least I'm trying to do the yeah, right exactly. thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thing and stick with the program, Dean and Buddy. I really feel like things are starting to click in our little study group. Hello, Michael. Sean. Shut the door. Have a seat. Man, things are about to go bad again. Okay, I don't think. Well, maybe Sean does know. He's reading some papers, so maybe, maybe yeah, he I, knows. I, I, I guess it depends on what the documentation is. We don't yeah, know what it kind could of be records he kept. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Obviously, if he knew, then it might be just over. Which is, right, it's not going to be over. Obviously, it's, it's definitely going to be some type of conflict, and yeah. the, the group is going to have to help Michael resolve for sure. Like it's not a small thing that Sean's back. Well, Sean is the shark from Jaws, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. You know, and Ted Danson being the the Roy Scheider of it all. Uh, Here's to swimming with bow legged women. <laughs> Let's see, Vice Guy. I really, really enjoyed this episode. Oh yeah, absolutely. It might be my favorite so far of season two. Uh, before that, it was the episode with the with the train tracks. I love that one. Yeah, the the the, the dilemma. Now, objectively, that might be the best one. Sure, but this one was just the really, really dilemma, fun. Yeah. Um, I love Derek. <laughs> Derek. <laughs> I, I'm really hoping we're not done with Derek. She didn't actually yes. kill him. Power uh, save mode. Right. So there's a real chance we get more Derek, and, and I hope we do, because yeah. that manic energy was a lot of fun. Really kind of reminded me of of one of the 30 Rock characters. Yeah. You know, just coming in just like a, a breath of lightning through through the show. Now, uh, Jason Manzukis. Yes, yeah. Manzukis. I'm going to remember that, yeah. Um, he's always over the top and everything, right? So he's great, yeah. Depending on what project it is, it could just be too much. I saw I saw a movie with him, an independent film. I can't remember what it's called. Kind of like a road trip movie mm. where he wasn't so him. Oh, really? And I think he, I, I don't know if he wrote it or his co-star. I can't remember who it was wrote it. Mm -hmm. um, but there was definitely a, a toned down version of him. But you're right. Usually we see a, a pretty antic him. It, it works sometimes, right? Yeah. No, this, it, it, it usually works. works. Yeah. Perfectly. yeah. Usually it does. Yeah. Um, and I, I love the energy he brought to, to pair with Janet because Janet's really evolving. Sure. And she's... Like we're seeing more personality. Like oh, she's yeah, not just a robot anymore, right. you know. Um, and I like them bouncing off one another. It's like their fight. Yeah. Oh my god, that was amazing. Yeah, it was. Um, I, I just liked the the vibe that he brought, and I think that you can have him in the background. You can keep him in the in the cast of characters and just have him pop up again in later seasons, or you can use him as a plot device. Right. You can do all kinds of stuff with this character. Well, and a shout out to Darcy Carden because she's asked to do an awful lot of different things on this show. Yeah. Like her, she's got to play multiple characters, characters who are emotionally and psychologically all over the map. Sure. Right. With bringing all kinds of different energy. Um, and that's not an easy task, right? She's doing a lot of heavy lifting on this show. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and she absolutely crushes it. And I feel like we're getting closer and closer. Each episode we have about Janet to kind of figuring out what kind of being she is. Sure. You know? Like she uses the passage of time as lotion. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Like is she just like the universe? Uh, I, I don't know. It, it's it's. Um, I mean, she's j obviously just a knowledge vessel, you know. Just kind of like the Watchers in the the Marvel comics. Kind of, yeah. She's just yeah. She's she's just basically a helper robot. Yeah. But I mean, she, she's emerging into something else, which is really great. Yeah. Um. It's it, you know, like I said, the mirroring of the humanity emerging from Janet and from Michael, mm -hmm. coming from completely different ethical positions. Janet is a helper wanting to do good. Michael is a demon wanting to do bad. And they're both kind of coming together at like the mess that is humanity. Yeah, they're besties. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think it's really great storytelling to have both sides of that coin, right? Angel and devil, both saying like, man, it's a lot easier being angel and devil than it is just being a person, yeah. you know? No, Which is sure. kind of a really beautiful sentiment for the show. And I clocked in the beginning, the writer of this episode was Cord Jefferson, who just won an Oscar. So good for him. Yeah, they, they, there's a lot of talent in the writer's room on this yeah. show. For sure. Like, if you really think about the story and what's happening, it kind of breaks your brain a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because like, it, it gets really confusing. You're like, okay, so wait, what's happening right now? You know, sure. what is Janet exactly? Like, this is the, not the good place, not the bad place either. But it's it's conveyed so well to where it's so accessible. Yeah. Anybody can watch this show. Anybody can get the themes. And anybody, they, honestly, everybody would laugh at the show. It's one of the funniest shows that I've ever seen. Yeah, it's it's hilarious. You know, that you know, we said before, it doesn't forget that it's a comedy first. Yeah. Right? It's still a funny show, and then it wraps very large ideas into it mm -hmm. that I, we're kind of, you know, exploring and walking through. I like that, because we watch a lot of dramas that have good comedy beats in them, like sure. Mad Men. Right. Uh, even The Americans has like, mm -hmm. some really funny moments. This show is, no, no, no. Comedy first. Yeah, this is a comedy. Absolutely. We'll put the seriousness in the background, but this is straight, first and foremost, a comedy. Just a comedy with very, very lofty ideas and a really good frame story to explore those ideas. Yeah.
and I kind of like where we're going. And I'm really glad we're getting Sean back into the mix. Yeah. Um, as, yeah. as kind of a foil to it. Because, like, I, every episode has been really strong this season. Um, but it's all kind of been, like, a philosophical approach, to right? Like, let's let, let's look at the ideas. Let's all explore the ideas of the show. Now let's bring in an outside force sure. to add some conflict to that and see though, how our characters put those ideas into action. Mm-hmm. They had to do it a little bit with Derek, right? Um, let's we get, we've got to get rid of Derek and Chidi said you know says like well I hate to be the buzzkill but ethically you know getting rid of Derek is you know for selfish reasons isn't okay and everything Chidi said was completely right he was on point he, yeah he was completely on point it's like it doesn't matter you know getting rid of Derek you know however we get rid of Derek it's it's the intention behind why we're getting rid of Derek mm-hmm. that, that that determines whether or not it's ethically okay yeah are we doing it to help everybody else or are we doing it because we're scared of punishment those are different things those are different motivations absolutely um but i, I, like, I like what you said in the beginning about how this uh season's been like a deconstruction yeah absolutely the show now that sean's back it's about putting it back together yeah, absolutely now now we're now we're going now that we we've, we've kind of had the, the a lot of lessons for the for the cast members, um, a lot of growth from the cast members. Yeah. Now we get to kind of step back into all right. Now that they're more hopefully more advanced people, including Michael, including Janet. Now let's see how they deal with the conflict that's been yeah. kind of hovering over the show since season one, and that is the threat of the threat of torture in the bad place <laughs> and retirement for Michael. I forgot. I mentioned the Patreon comment. The last episode we saw Chidi with needles in his face. Yeah, that's the first time we've saw we've seen actual like physical torture sure. on the show. Right. Is that going to go somewhere? Or is it just like a just a one off? You think? I, I felt like it was kind of a one off because Vicky was in charge of it, obviously. He, right? And it was an off, like it was like the. It's not even a D plot. It was like this doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just like a, a, a walk in gag. I found it, it not jarring in a bad way, but no, no I was just like, oh, oh, that's messed up. Well, I <laughs> I, I took it as like it wasn't torture, torture. Yeah. He was getting acupuncture. Right? Oh, okay, it, okay, it was okay. it was supposed to calm him down, sure. But Vicky doing and it, being in his face and feet, I was just and like, oh, and my God. and the simple fact that as uptight as Cheedy is, there's no way Cheedy would find acupuncture to be relaxing. Hey, so I'm with him on that one. It, it was still within the. I feel like it was still within the bounds of the show, the 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 good places premise <laughs> of this is all for your good and happiness, and yeah. this is heavenly. When really it's just about self torture and like. You know, it, it, it'd be like, you know, like, hey, Kevin, let's go to a country concert so you can unwind. <laughs> I would not walk out of that feeling better. <laughs> I, 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 but you, let, let's go see a double header of Alan Jackson and Toby Keith so you feel better. Ah, I would feel like Cheaty and I'd be actually more stressed out. Can we not? Yeah, can we do anything else? <laughs> Sorry, country music fans, just not for me. All right, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. See ya.